Hi everyone, in this video we are going to learn how to create and read INI file. But well before that let's talk about what is INI file and why do we need it. So INI file is a file where we can keep uh, some configuration details. Let's say we have three different environments one development second is qa for quality assurance and then prod let's say that this application is interacting with some database now for each of these environment will have different connection properties now that value we can store into ini file so that whenever we'll execute the script in different environment it will take their corresponding values before we'll jump into the code, let's look into some sample INI file data. So over here you can see we have these three different sections. Development, quality assurance and over here say I have kept couple of E value pairs and uh, value will be different in these two sections. Over here I have given development and in this one it is quality assurance. This schema let's say it's uh, both the places it's same or we can change it i mean for development it's uh, default one and for qa it's default any any value whatever is applicable we can store in this fashion now let's try to understand how we can create ini file so for that i have imported config parser then uh, we are uh, creating config writer object by calling uh, config parser class now for the simplicity let's assume that uh, this parser writer is a python dictionary variable that way it will be easy to understand so i'm creating default section and then passing one new dictionary which will have two key like name and log level now similarly if i wanted to create uh, some other section like development and qa now you can see in this particular line when we are creating a new section that is development and passing empty dictionary to it and then in this particular line we are uh, creating one new key value pair to this development section similarly a new key value pair called schema has been added and finally port now one thing to observe here is uh, port should be number right but still we are passing it as a string because when we are creating ini file we will store all the data in string format so while reading this data we have to typecast this value into integer now similarly for qa we are again creating one uh, new section and passing empty dictionary and after that we are uh, creating this new key value pair to this uh, qa section over here now once this particular dictionary object has been created we have to write this data into one output file so over here you can see we are uh, creating one application dot ini file and then um, writing this data config writer data into this application file so that way it will create application ini file now let's save this code and execute in the in the command prompt so over here let me execute this python code code has been executed successfully let's verify the output file this application dot ini and over here you can see we have three different sections default development and qa and all these value whatever we passed while creating that script now let's learn how we can read uh, ini or config file so for that i have imported the config parser module 
and then creating config reader object by calling config parser class then we are calling uh, a read method and passing the config uh, or ini file details here after that we are uh, just trying to see how many different sections are there in that particular file so we are using uh, sections method to print that data now let's execute the code and uh, see how many sections are there now let's call this read file the python and uh, this one taking a bit of time and you can see we have three different sections that is default dev and qa now if you wanted to read uh, the value for different sections let's say for development section we wanted to know database uh, value or port value it's just like a nest, nested dictionary and similarly for qa we are printing the database and its port value so now let me go to the command prompt and let's re-execute the code and over here you can see we got uh, the value for uh, development and uh, port ids for development and quality assurance so this way you can read uh, ini file thanks for watching